expect the reader to know the language, so commenting on code behavior is completely unnecessary. Let's look at seven different types of comments you should get rid of today. This is one of the worst kind of comments. Zombie comments are completely unnecessary. What's even worse is keep if we need to revert, but really if you need to revert, then you just go into the git history and you will find this and revert back to it. Usually you will see zombie comments because of some bug was found and you need to re-implement it in, in a different way. Don't keep this around, just new git, get rid of it, you'll be fine. We can clearly see the invoice status is being checked here. Commenting on obvious intent only adds noise to your code. The not so obvious part is what the magic numbers zero and one represents. So if you really want to make this much clearer, you can and just refactor to using enums instead like this. And now you can remove the comments completely. Okay, so first off, any arrow shaped code is definitely a code smell. Commenting where each code block ends doesn't make it any better. It only increases the noise to signal ratio of the already troublesome code. If you really insist on having this kind of code, then at least just use a shortcut to find the matching end block. Documentation comments are great, but documenting the names of classes, properties, methods, and so on is just plain redundant and absolutely not needed. One thing to notice here, if you use the name of a property or a method or something in a doc comment, then at least use the reference to it because otherwise, let's say I rename this to content2 for some reason. Now this update content is outdated. So let me just revert this back. Instead, you can easily make references like this. So if I choose to rename this, you will also see the change there. Insane divided comments are completely redundant and they only take up real estate on the screen. There's absolutely no need for describing sections of your code with comments. Like anyone who's coding already knows the programming language that they're coding in and they would know, for example, with C Sharp that they, these are fields. Here we have a constructor, these are properties, and this is a method. There's absolutely no need for this redundancy. Quite often you see comments above conditionals, but I think one of the best ways to provide clarity to your code is actually to extract conditionals into well-named variables. So for example, here we can extract this, and then you can just remove the comment and you're all good. All right, so that was seven types of comments that you absolutely don't want in your source code.